Good morning, people on the internet. The last couple of days we had uh, weather which is pretty good for the Bima, literally raining every day. So we went to test it after the changes that we applied last time. Firstly, the brakes are very bad at the front, so we're gonna change the brakes for the new ones. Uh, suspension, the coilovers that we bought the car with, they're looking like garbage, so we're changing coilovers for new as well. We're also upgrading the angle lock. Let's put it inside, uh, put it on the lift, wash it. Let's wash it first though, yeah. It's not really a change that's visible from from, uh, yeah. from the outside, so you won't really see this on daily. Although, but yeah, I think it's gonna be interesting. Although we have some parts coming, that's gonna change the look of it. Yes, the that, that's, but that's, that's late. That's late, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty old, old car, so it's been very rusty, very dirty. Yeah, rusty, dirty. Okay, what's an update? The update is that everything is out. Uh, all the old stuff. And yeah, she's gonna wash it now properly, clean it, all this. She looks disgusting at the moment. And then we have this. Can I use this professional thing? Novel. Novel, my guys. Big up. <laughs> what's the name of it? Underbody coating. Underbody coating. Bitumen. I think it does something with cool. protecting it. Bozo calling. My day is this guy. Hello. Hello, is in the garage? No, you cannot buy another RX7, Bozo. Come on. No, 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 I literally said, try to not splash on me. How could you say splash on you? No, I said, try to not splash on me because I'm holding camera and you splash on me. Why did I just splash on me, man? I said, no splash on me, you splash on me. Are you not here? Splash on you? He said, yeah. I said, please no splash on me and you splash on me. Okay, so we have the arches empty and we have them cleaned. Now we're gonna get them ready for painting. So we're gonna tape uh, all the things that we don't wanna paint and then we're gonna put a fresh coat, or actually two coats of this uh, underbody sealant thing. And then we're gonna wait until tomorrow, until it's dry, and then put it all together on the fresh parts, which it's is gonna, gonna be... be... It's gonna be very crazy feeling because all of these boxes that you see, yeah, all of the seven boxes or so, everything has brand new parts. Which pretty much never happens with this car. But oh, any car that we have, except your Miami. Yeah. As the only car that was actually built with budget. Yeah. But still, all these parts were not crazy expensive actually. Yeah, true. pretty much one of the cheapest. Basic. But okay. Stuff. But new. Let's tape it and let's paint it. Professional job? Wrong channel. Wait, I might need gloves. Gloves the air, but not the, the component. I think it might be stuck, maybe? Everything is coming through here, look. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes, it was. I see you fix it. Oh, yes. 
Yes, we have Are you a. Ready? Let's do it. Hello. I need a table. I had a table, but Boogie used it. He don't have a Can table. Can you please fabrication a new table? <laughs> what now? Yes. Okay, so there's your table, but wait, we need legs. Can you hold? Yeah, I hold as well. No rush. Because you can't see much on it. Okay, quick presentation of the things we bought. Firstly, not very much exciting job, just a new uh, brake pads. Secondly, we have uh, drift knuckles from my guy Nippel, very known Polish drifter. Those are stock E36 knuckles, but they've been rewelded the way so the car handles better and has more uh, turning angle. Okay, thank you very much, Nippel. <laughs> Nippel. <laughs> Next one, we're changing the brake pads, so we obviously need to change discs as well. And last but not least, Best quality you can get. Jom. 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 Jom, bo G też zna tą firmę i on mówi, że to najgorsze gówno i oni to też kupują, co się Jom nazywa. John. <laughs> so now we have John in 30. Okay, yeah. you know when you have a desire to have a BC racing, but you have a budget to buy... John. Jom. <laughs> no, John. Not the best quality, but new. John. Coilovers. Um. <laughs> Why? Why? Let me guess. Right. This it, is let me guess. It doesn't work. <laughs> Yo. Okay, it works 50%. Tuning shop. Tuning. Wow. Oh, there is a nice Audi on there. Man, the quality of those stickers. <laughs> they say about the quality of the product. <laughs> Double John. Oh yeah. So also we bought uh, obviously new bearings, hubs and bearings. Look. See, good table, huh? <laughs> I feel like Jimmy Oaks. <laughs> no, new parts for my car. Nah, I have a Jimmy Oaks t-shirt. I'm Jimmy Oaks. Welcome to my garage. Today we are fixing uh, my FD. Um, putting, <laughs> putting John's in FD. Yeah. Shout out Jimmy Oaks. My guy, big up. This side is ready. That and that and every bolt is in tight. Marek, what is wrong with our setup? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Are you sure? Yeah. Boogie, what do you think? I think it's good because airflow is like and cooling. Yes. That's the thing. It shouldn't be like this. No, should be. Cooling should, should go be. like this. No, no, it's no. Fine. because. Airflow is coming here yes, and look. cooling. You're driving forward, yeah? Yeah. So airflow is going shoo, cooling. And you see this, what so I just did? We put those discs wrong. The right one should be on the left side and the left one should be on the right side. We didn't notice it yesterday. We're gonna swap them around. So for all of you that already commented that we put them wrong. Okay. <laughs> Yo, what do you say? Good. 
how we feel. I feel okay. So, the part of the video that we spend in the garage finishes here and we proceed to the part where we actually drive. And I've noticed that since we bought E30 and it was one year ago, we didn't actually film any drifting with it because most of the time we went out and it was braking. So I think today is the day that we finally take it out for the spin and we can see how it drifts, how it performs, especially with the new parts that we installed. So there's this training in Czech Republic, which is uh, not far from us. We're gonna take the Bima to test it out and we're gonna test my Miata to drift as well. And also boogie my guy here. I will show you my super fresh wheel. We picked up yesterday his uh, old wheels from powder coating and they look fresh and clean. Equipment's on point, not bad. So Boogie's gonna drift this, I'm gonna drift my Miata and Bozo's coming with the party. And yeah, let's have some fun. Okay, we just made it to Czech Republic. Uh, by we, I mean me and Marek. Uh, Boogie and Bozo, they're still on the way. They're gonna join a bit later. Now we're gonna unload my car. And um, yeah, super hyped to drift. Actually, all the time, I didn't really feel that we're going drifting and now it kind of is getting to me. So I'm getting hyped and yeah, excited to drift this thing again. Time to test E30. Bozo actually volunteered to go first. Are you gonna test? I am the stick, but you know me. Możemy tu jeździć? Można? Something, wrong. something is not yes. Something, uh, something is, not... is not yes. Uh, it really stinks <laughs> like petrol. No. So anything? Basically, it stinks like petrol. Yeah. Uh, when you're driving, especially, and then it loses all the power. In the beginning, you have no power, and after one corner, when you slide, you need to kick it like five times because there is no power no more. We don't know. We took some time in E30 and we found out that really there is a fuel related problem and it's pretty weird because when you go left the car has power but when you go right there's like there's no power at all you go full throttle and there's like I don't know 2000 rpm and then car the car is not uh, accelerating I think the first thing though we should just actually just change this fuel pump Handling is kind of okay the car has a lot of angle now and it's pretty stiff it's much stiffer than before not perfect still but much better than before but yeah we just want to make it ready for the winter because this car is supposed to be a winter street car and uh, it's finally the time now that 
it should actually run uh, without any issues after a year of just standing and you know causing troubles. Right. Okay, so the boys finished driving, they're chilling at the back and I thought I might as well try it myself, see how it feels. <laughs> 